Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to connect to a SQL server using Power Query and then get the data of the SQL server. So I've got the SQL server installed on my uh, machine and uh, you can see I've got the AdventureWorks DW2012, which is a Microsoft database. And uh, let's see that I've got this dim product table and uh, I just want to import the data from this dim product table into my Powered Query. So as you can see here, it's got 606 rows. Um, let's go to Power Query now. I've got the Excel workbook open. Go to the Power Query tab. Go to the from database on external data and click on from SQL server database. Because I've got the uh, database on my local machine, I'll just type in localhost. Database name is optional and uh, well, I can put in the SQL statement as well. Uh, but for the moment, we'll just connect to the SQL server and get the data from the DIM product table. So I click on OK. And the Power Query is connecting to the SQL server. And I get this navigator, which shows me the AdventureWorks database with all its tables. I can click on the select multiple items button and I'll be able to select multiple items and import them. Um, at the moment, we are only interested in the DIM product table, so I'll just go and select it. And Power Query will show me a preview of the table, the data that's available, so I've got all these things. So if you look at the first row, I've got AR5381, which is on here. So it's just given me a preview of the first 12 rows and I'll just go and click on load. So the Power Query will uh, do the processing and load the data from the SQL Server database into the Excel workbook, which I can later use. So as you can see, I've got this dim product table, which is getting loaded into the Power Query and I've got the data loaded. So as you can see, if I scroll, I've got all the columns and I've got, if you scroll down, we've got all the 606 rows which are there in the DIM product table. Including the header, it's 607 rows, but it's all 606 rows and all. So in this video, we learned how to connect to a SQL Server database and get the data in the SQL Server tables into the Excel workbook using Power Query. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I hope you find this video useful.